All right, so I'm gonna open up and disassemble this HP Pavilion DV6. So first we're gonna remove the battery and slide that over to the left. And then you can pull the battery up like this. The battery, oh, the exact model number here, <clears throat> let's see. It's over here. So there's this model number DV6-7138US. Got some orange stuck on my finger. There we go. All right. So anyways, first we're going to do, uh, of course, remove the battery. If you're going to work with the screen, because that's the main thing I'm going to be working on, you want to open it up. Press and hold the power button for 10 to 15 seconds after removing the battery and unplugging it. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but oh, you definitely can. It looks like a forest or something. So the screen got smashed and you can actually see all the broken leaking pixels. All right. So anyways, once we do that, if you want to see how to replace the hard drive or the RAM, I'm not going to do a complete disassembly on this. This is an older model and the customer just wanted me to change the screen. So undo that screw, it'll pop up. There's a spring holding it. And then you can slide this latch all the way over to the left. The cover will move slightly down and then you can lift it out. You might have to pull it down a little bit more. So there we go. So the type of RAM in here, you just pull these two tabs to the side like that. It'll pop up, pull it out, and here you go. Two gigs, PC3, 12800S. So if you want, you can get two 4 gig sticks, so you can have 8 gigs, PC3, but make sure it's PC3 12800S. Um, if you get other speeds, it might work, but for to ensure that it's compatible, if you don't have like a good return policy on the RAM you're buying, make sure that you get the same uh, type of speed. You got the wireless card here. If you want to see how to remove that, you can watch other videos of my laptop repairs. I remove the wireless antennas on almost all of them. There's one screw here. It'll pop up like the RAM once you remove that and you can pull it out. The wireless antennas, you want to pull them up at the tails. Don't try and pry them out from the fronts here. You can damage them that way. The hard drive looks like there's two screws here. Okay, so these are all using a PH1 JAS1 screwdriver. I didn't mention that, but yeah, PH1 JAS1. Right, once you remove those two screws, you can use this pull tab to pull the hard drive back. Sometimes it'll get stuck. If that's the case, I'll use like a T8 or Torx 8 screwdriver and I'll use the screw hole and I'll use that to kind of like pull the whole hard drive back like that. Anyways, once you do that, you can lift the hard drive up. You will want to grab this tab here. Let me zoom in so it's easier to see. Grab that tab and then you can pull this up to remove the hard drive just like that. So this is a two and a half inch SATA hard drive. You can upgrade it to an SSD to speed it up. If you want to remove the connector, <clears throat> you do have to take the hard drive out of this caddy first because there's a metal bracket holding it in place. I'm not going to do that, um, but you should be able to figure it out from there. If not, um, I don't know. You can watch my other videos on how to release the connectors, but basically you just pull that um, the connector off of it. All right. Just like that. We'll put this back in, slide that back over. Okay, so now for the main thing is replacing the screen. Um, if you're wondering there's other what these other things are, this is the CMOS or the BIOS battery. If you need to reset the BIOS, you can disconnect that battery. And then you can press and hold the power button and also short the pins on there with like a screwdriver or something metal or electrically conductive. I think these two little, this little connector here I think is for a speaker. But <clears throat> I'm not going to mess with that. So we're going to go ahead and remove the what you call the screen if you want to remove the keyboard they actually label these screws so this one's a keyboard screw this one's a keyboard screw and this is a customer's computer so I don't know if other screws are missing or anything but um, once you remove those two screws you can actually pop out the uh, keyboard here um, you would have to use a thin pry tool like this I'm not gonna pop it out but you would go on here you can feel the clips and you can pop it up all right, so anyways, now I'm going to remove, oops, let me zoom back out. So to replace the screen, you have to remove this little, um, I don't know what you call this. It's like a fake speaker grill, I guess. Um, so what you would do, I use a needle, but you just get underneath a corner. The only thing with this is it's going to not look the same because there is an adhesive under there. So as you can see, it's peeling up. Normally this adhesive is harder to peel off, but I think because... Oh, so it actually peeled off the speaker grill without the adhesive. So this you're probably going to want to put back with some glue or something. You can use double-sided tape 
it doesn't really do anything it's more just decorative <clears throat> um, but you do let me see I don't even see the where the actual speaker ports are but anyways once you peel that up you can actually poke through the adhesive here and I'm just gonna undo the screws okay if you want you can try and actually find where the um, you can actually find where these little holes go and then you can um, peel up the adhesive but I'm leaving that so I'm actually just feeling here and you can kind of feel where the screws are so there's another one on this side of course oops sorry another one here of course I'm just gonna undo that screw as well okay and then I don't think there's any others I think it's just those two if you want you can run your screwdriver over and see if there's like any lump that appears yeah I don't think there's any other screws in here okay so <clears throat> once you do that we're gonna pop the screen bezel off okay Oops, I zoomed out way too much alright so to pop the bezel off I'm gonna put it over here to make it a little bit easier but what you do is you pull from the middle up okay I think there's actually adhesive this is an older model so haven't worked on these in a long time but pull up from the center it feels like there's actually an ad adhesive holding the screen onto this piece so just keep that in mind it's gonna be a little bit difficult to pull up because of that adhesive we're gonna move around I'm gonna go to the middle all right and again we're just gonna pull this up and I do feel the adhesive releasing okay sometimes it kind of helps to kind of wiggle the bezel around but this is kind of tough some of this plastic is breaking off. All right, so just pull this up, just like that. And it doesn't really need the adhesive, so when you put it back, you actually don't need to put that. It helps to kind of push the bezel in towards the center, if you can, if you've noticed. Okay, let's see if I can go this way. And then the corners are a little trickier too, but. As you can see, you lift it up and then you also pull it towards the center. And that's the easiest way to release the clips. But the adhesive makes it extra difficult. So just keep that in mind. All right. Go ahead and do this side as well. Okay. Just like that. All right, <clears throat> just got most of that out. Let's go down to this side and same thing, pull the center forward and try and kind of lift the whole bezel into the center. There's all the adhesive stuck here, so I'm gonna try and actually hold it down while I pull it back. There we go. All right, so again, pull this forward while kind of pulling it towards the center of the screen. Oh, there might be a hidden screw there. Oh, okay, there's two more hidden screws that I missed right under here. Okay. At least it feels like it. Yep, okay. I'm gonna move those screws as well. You don't have to take it completely out if you can't, um, as long as you just undid it because the adhesive might hold it down. So if you want, you can leave it in there or you can go ahead and keep working it until you can pull out the screw just like this come on there we go and yeah I'm probably gonna put some like uh, some kind of glue here to hold that the speaker grill back on top okay pull it forward while pulling it up towards the center just like this the adhesive here is making it a little more difficult if the adhesive is in the way what you can do you can take a thin pry tool and then while you pull it forward just push the adhesive back against the screen and that can sometimes help you separate that if not don't worry about it if your screen's broken you're gonna be replacing it anyways so here you go just like this hold the bezel forward and push the thing back all right there you go and then same thing kind of pulling this bezel up while we're pulling it forward. I think most of the clips actually already came out. 
So I don't know what's actually holding it now. Let me see, let's pull it forward up more this way. And let's see if I can see in there. There are clips down there as well, so you wanna be careful. Okay, but um, again, there are all these <clears throat> little screws that will hold the bottom part. So the main one is the top. All right, this part is stuck, so I'm gonna flip it. And I'm gonna try and undo the little hinge clips, cover clips here by just getting my fingernails in there. You can use little pry tools, but that opened up this hinge cover. I don't know if you can even tell in the video. There we go. All right, we're gonna flip this back forward. And that clip came out, I think. So let's see. I don't know why this part doesn't wanna come out though. It's stuck. Most of it's out. All right, let's see if we can undo the clips from this side then. So here you can see most of the clips came out. Oh, there we go. So looks like now we release these clips as well. Okay, let's open it back up. Hmm. It's holding, these clips are holding really strong. That's kind of weird. There we go. Okay, hopefully you're able to see that, sorry. There we go. And now we got it. So here you can see the speakers are only right there. So these two areas where they don't really have the adhesive, those are the only place where there's actually speakers. So you can actually put like some glue over this and then just stick that speaker grill back down. Okay. And then as far as removing the screen goes, there's four screws here holding it in place. I'm not gonna um, do the screen replacement because I actually have to order the screen, but I'm just gonna show how to kind of take it apart and then once I get the screen, then I will replace it. But it's the same idea. I'll take it out and then put it back. Again, if you're removing the screen, hopefully you press and hold down the power button. Make sure that's very important. If you don't do that first and then you just try and take the screen out, there's a very good chance you're gonna damage the backlight of your screen or even the motherboard. Okay, so once you remove the four screws, just let the screen fall forward. Okay, you might have to pull it out um, if the adhesive is there. Then you want to make sure to, oh, the adhesive is grabbing onto the frame, so I need to peel that away. All right, just like that. Oh, be very careful because there is the um, webcam connector here as well. So to disconnect that, get underneath here. I use my fingernails if I can. If not, you can just grab the connector as close as you can, and you kind of just wiggle it, and it pulls out just like that. You want to keep wiggling it. Don't just yank it straight down. All right, and now we can lean the screen forward. Here we go. And then just like every other screen replacement, um, we're just gonna disconnect this screen connector. And then we're also gonna have to peel this away, of course. So the um, camera cable, so just peel it up. Um, you wanna check your screen model, but the screen model of this is B156XW04 version five, okay. Usually when you buy these parts, a lot of people will sell you like compatible screens. So don't worry if it's not the exact same model number. Um, but yeah, all right. So now we're going to disconnect the screen here. So slide it over so there's more slack here so it's not just pulling on that cable and you can damage it that way. All right, get underneath, peel up the adhesive here. Right. This adhesive can be a pain to remove, but just work at it. Okay. This adhesive is there to keep the um, LCD connector attached. We're most likely going to have to put adhesive on top because most of the time this adhesive, I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually sticking to this board and then it peeled off from here. All right, so once you peel up that, they actually have this yellow adhesive. Oh man, so that's a separate piece. So we're actually gonna have to separate the yellow from the white one. So I'm using a needle to do that. I'm just getting underneath in between the layers. You can use whatever you want, whatever tools you have, a toothpick, I don't know. It might break, but whatever you can, all right. You can use some tweezers if you want. This is at an awkward angle because I'm trying to somewhat film it. All right, but uh, 
let's see here, maybe I can rotate it a little bit a different way to make it easier for me. Okay. All right. So peel that up, separate the two layers. two pieces apart. Man, I don't know why they did it this way. All right. There we go. So just separate those two. So here you can see this yellow one actually holds a metal tab or latch, and this metal latch helps also hold that connector in place. All right? So once you lift the this metal latch up and this actually you might not have had to separate it. Then you can actually grab the two lower parts of that metal latch and pull it back just like that. Oh yeah, you didn't actually have to separate that, sorry. And there you go. So that's how you remove the screen. Then you just get the new one, slot it back in, and do everything in reverse. Reconnect, make sure to reconnect the webcam connector, okay. Make sure you reconnect that, put the screen back in, put the screws on. Yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory at this point. So I'm going to leave this done. And if you need to know how to put it back together, basically just watch the video again and try and do it in reverse. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe. Help others find my videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.